On today's show, we're going to take a look at creating a nice little versatile dessert cream. It goes, it goes well uh, in chocolate eclairs or cream puffs or uh, tiramisu or a creme brulee. Heck yeah. Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fish. I'm your host, David Murray. Hey, we've got everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and get started on our dessert cream right now. Let's go ahead and get started on our dessert cream, our versatile dessert cream. We've got our ingredients right here, very minimal, five egg yolks, half a cup of sugar, one and three quarter cups of cold whipping cream. I'm using the, the premium 40% fat cream. And right here we got 16 ounces of mascarpone cheese and we got a little bit of salt sitting right there. Unbelievably simple. So I tell you what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add Whoop, make some noise. We're gonna add our egg yolks to a bowl. Then we come in here, we're gonna drop our sugar right on top, just like that. That's step uh, one and one A, I guess we'll say, or one, one A and one B. Anyway, now I'm gonna come over here with the handy Hamilton Beach hand <laughs> mixer, and we're going to combine these together, and we're gonna beat these for about five minutes um, until they get nice and pale. The yolks are nice and pale yellow. So there you go right there. That's kind of, ha, we're not done yet, no joking. That's kind of, that's just kind of broken up those egg yolks. See how kind of a, more of a deep yellow they are. We're gonna turn that into a light pastel yellow. All right, I tell you what, heck yeah, that's looking pretty good right there. Yes sirree. Yes, it is definitely, ha, Done a little bit of a color change for us. Now I'm gonna just leave that right there. And we've got our other three ingredients. They're gonna go in here and that's gonna be it. We're gonna mix them all up nice together. We're gonna come in right here with, uh, this is gonna be about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Yep, I'll just go ahead and wash that. I was thinking about, ah, we don't need to buy that, we do. So anywho, now I'm gonna come in here with our cream just like so. Heck yeah, get it all out of there. Mm. Oh, yum, yum. Making more noise. Now we've got, tell you what, let's go ahead and mix this up a little bit and then we'll come back and add the mascarpone cheese. <laughs> all right, so we got that nice and mixed. That's That was kind of unnecessary, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. So now we're gonna come in here. We got 16 ounces of our cheese our mascarpone cheese. So we're gonna come in and just kind of add that in there. Try not to make too much of a mess. Just like so, heck yeah. Making a mess, making a mess. As usual, do that in a sec. Now, now I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna combine everything together using the old hand mixer. All right, I tell you what, man, that is that is looking pretty daggone good right there. Oh man, yes sir, wow, that is looking awesome. Heck yeah, kind of just um, let's see how long. I guess I was probably at it for about four minutes or so. Got that nice. Oh yes, look at that. <laughs> pretty daggone good. So we got it nice and smooth. We had a little bit of air in there by kind of sort of whipping it, whipping it up. Now what you can do at this point, if you wanted to add like a coffee liqueur or something like that, would really kind of sort of kick those flavors up. But right now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the fridge for about two hours, let it kind of sort of cool itself down, and then we'll be ready to maybe make an eclair, a chocolate eclair, or cream puff, or tiramisu, something like that. But I think what we're gonna do right now is to prepare a creme <laughs> brulee. Heck yeah. 
So through the magic of video and editing, we have ourselves a nice little uh, ramekin with our pastry cream, our versatile pastry cream sitting right here, dessert cream, I guess I could say, sitting right here. And then magically appearing is a little bit of raw sugar right there that we're gonna use here in a minute. We got a little, got a little, got a little torch sitting right back over here too. So what we will do is we're gonna come in here first thing and we're gonna begin to top I think we are top our our little dessert cream with this sugar now you can use um look at that mess i'm making you can use regular white sugar but this kind of sort of gives a little bit i don't know uh more uh, uh distinct caramel flavor in my opinion so we're going to come in here and just get a nice little coating on top just like so Put this up and I tell you what that, that I made a good little mess so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up just a tad just like so try to be somewhat tidy and now we're gonna come in here boom oh one thing as I'm sure you notice we did not cook our cream and it does have egg yolks in it so you know if, if, if you have a little bit of a worry uh, with the egg yolks you know you're an adult you can you can make those decisions for yourself but I just wanted to bring that up so let's go ahead and we're gonna begin brulee is that I, I don't know we're gonna melt our cheese I guess you could say so here we go yep so you don't want to shove this thing in this heat right dead on top of of your sugar you want to kind of just stay a little bit away from it and it will begin, as you can see, um, <clears throat> doing its little thing. It's starting to, whoop, there you go, getting a little bit of, little bit of color right there. So we just want to be careful not to burn that sugar. That's the last thing we need to do. Because then it'll get a little bit of uh, bitterness to it. And uh, yeah, nah, not good, not good. So we're going to come in. Oh, yeah, got a little smoke going. Gonna sort of get those edges. And by the way, this is going to be hot. <laughs> when we're done with it so just remember that so here we go heck yeah looking good all right i tell you what i think let's see i think it's kind of sort of created that nice little crust on top oh yeah can you hear that oh yeah how about that oh my heck yeah there you go how about how about that that's our nice little creme brulee we don't have any you know i didn't bring any i, I should have brought some some mint up and we could have, you know had a little decoration but you know what heck just gonna eat that thing anyway but there you go right there that is our nice little uh creme brulee from our dessert cream heck yeah man that is gonna be good in a second heck yeah what I think it's time for us to give it a little bit of a taste I don't know about y'all but I think I am ready heck yes yeah. so let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a crunch oh yeah heck yeah just like so come in here give it a taste ready mmm <laughs> oh man that's good hold on mmm <laughs> Oh man, that, mm. <laughs> that is delicious. Wow, that, that, that raw sugar just adds something to it. Man, that is unbelievable. I'm still crunching. For the recipe, check out the description down below, right down here. We got nice little vanilla cupcakes. Try those out and then right, right there. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and subscribe it all does help and until next time god bless and we'll see you soon